Hi guys, this week I had a lovely day at River Cottage. On arrival we were led into this yurt which was lovely and cosy and then we were fed delicious canapes. And the kitchen team were already in the kitchen. They were getting ready for lunch because they made us a lovely meal later in the day. What we're really trying to do is uphold uh, the values that River Cottage has always stood for, which is local and seasonal and organic food. My favourite part was probably the tour of the garden because you see so much of it in the River Cottage TV shows. And Will was telling us that at River Cottage they have 90 acres and it's all certified organic. The main gardens are laid out at the back of the cottage and they weren't as big as I was expecting them to be. There's a giant mulberry bush right in the middle and then four main beds that rotate year on year and it's probably about the size of two full-size allotment plots. They have so much going on there and all the food stays on site and it's used in the kitchens. They do have quite a few big events there so one thing that I thought was really interesting was that they have a 30 mile food policy so they can't produce enough on site to feed the 16,000 visitors that they have each year but everything else that they get in has to come within 30 miles and it's not just the gardens they also have a small holding with these super cute little pigs. Then we filed into the big dining room for lunch. It's just two long trestle tables they have in there, which is a really inclusive dining experience. And we had an amazing ravioli, which was filled with a really delicate beef shin. And the cow had actually been raised there at the cottage. For dessert, there was quite a lot going on and it included a meringue that was flavored with fennel flowers. I wasn't so sure about that, but the rest of it was lovely. After lunch it was our turn to do the cooking and we headed outside to pick raspberries which were going to go into our soda bread. We also put cheese, apples and oats in there and we made our own butter so we used the remaining buttermilk in the soda bread. We got to choose how we decorated the butter so it was back out to the garden to pick some flowers. Now I'll admit I was kind of led by colour more than taste on this one. And that was the end of the day we headed off home on the tractor.